Okay everybody, uh, this video is going to be about me showing you a quick fix on how to use VMware regardless of the version on Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft went ahead and blocked uh, VMware from being used to a degree and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now there are other uh, people out there, other videos out there telling you how to do it but you download this software and you got to manipulate files. You don't have to do squat. But anyway, this is how you get around it. Uh, it's really quite simple. I'm going to install uh, VMware full 14.0. The reason why I'm installing the older version is to show you that um, older versions you could do. Uh, anyway, let's get on with this. Now, I will not be showing you me entering my serial number because that's not a good thing. Now, get this. The new VMware, it's 15.5.6 or some retarded number like that. My system does not meet the minimum system requirements. So that really kicks me in the ass. It's almost like Microsoft and the people behind VMware got together and decided to do this. I don't know. But anyway, it really annoys the crap out of me. Yes, I accept the terms. I uh, don't need that. We're going to change this to something else because I'm not keeping it. I like uh, Oracle. It's free and it's quite nice. Uh, okay. Nope, don't want to do that, don't want to do that. Uh, might as well keep that to that, install. Okay. Yeah, my it's it's horrifying. I mean, imagine you know you, you put out money for this sort of stuff, right? And then uh, Microsoft said this, this decides, no, we're not going to let you use that software anymore. Like VMware is not cheap software. It truly is not cheap software. No, we're not going to reboot that. Okay, finish. Uh, okay, um, let's start it up. Oh, VMware Pro can't run on Windows. We're going to dismiss it. What you're going to do is you're going to go to where the, the program is installed. So I'm going to right click, go to this, and it's where I just installed it. What you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to rename this to whatever you want. doesn't matter, but I put one in makes life easier for me. I'm just going to set up my pro my launch icon to the right number or what I re yeah, I know. Now I'm going to put my serial key in and I can't let you see that now, can I? All right, be right back. Okay, just entered it in. So let's go in. Oh, look at that starting. And that's something. All right, people are gonna say, "Well, hey, you know, what the heck, man? Sure, it started, but what about installing something?" Oh, well, there's window. Well, I didn't want to. I, that's funny. I thought I removed that from mine. Okay. All right, so let's go to. I need to set up a couple of things here, but I might as well let you see me doing it. Uh, go to preferences. Nope. We're gonna go D virtual machines we're going to do VMware actually so I'm going to switch that over That's where it's going to put all of my keys, or not my keys, but my uh, my virtual operating systems. Uh, bank. Let's create a new one. Uh, custom. Uh, let's go workstation 14. I guess we'll stick with that. Installer disk. It's going to be an ISO. Uh, Let's 
go to Windows XP. Open. Uh, I will be installing that a little later. Not Windows 10. I'm going to, where's my XP at? Oh, there we go. Professional. Okay. Be professional. Just make sure that's going to the directory I want it to. Uh, one core for, uh, gonna bring it up to four gigabyte. Leave that default. Less logic, okay, yeah. Uh, ID recommended, of course. Use an existing disk. Use a physical disk. Uh, not what you want to do. I mean, you can do it that way, but I, I would never suggest that. Uh, we're gonna do a new virtual disk. We're not going to allocate the disk space for this at all. It's going to be a growing one sort of thing. It's going to be 10 gigabyte. Uh, store virtual disk single file. Okay. Uh, let me see. Options. P power okay shared folders no I don't want that uh, yeah I just thought I'd show this really fast now you don't even have to watch the rest of this video you've already I've already showed you how to get around it but if you want to then go ahead continue on watching uh, da -da 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 we're going to be using the ISO. Ay, 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 ay. Now, let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, I already know all about that. Don't. Don't ask me about that crap. I already know. Okay, it's going to take about maybe a few minutes to install the operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording here. And then when it's installed, I'll continue on recording. Okay, it's asking me to... I thought I'd show this as well. But not the install itself because it, that'll just take a little while. Okay, so we got the ARM partitions. We're going to format it to NTFS. Uh, come on, you little nickels. I'm going to be installing Windows 98, Windows 95 on Oracle. I like Oracle. It's free, it's fast, it's far superior to VMware in this way. In this way. I mean, VMware is just a pig, and it's not worth your money. I mean, for a person who's only using their own, their local computer, that's, you know, so they can run older games, and older software, yeah, I mean, Oracle's good. The only problem with the newest version of Oracle is that they removed the ability for you to use uh, Direct3D. Don't ask me why they abandoned that. Um, they could add it in and work on it. Just work on it. I mean, it makes no sense for me uh, for, for them not to. But you know, you know. I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, we'll. Uh, I'll start. I'll continue on recording once it reaches uh, after it installs all the files and setups and all that stuff, and then uh, we'll go from there. It's just I'm doing this just to prove to you folks that. This is all you need to do. You don't need to uh, listen to these other people who go ahead and say you have to download third-party utilities and and do this, do that, and all this other stuff. And you don't need to. And besides, I don't trust third-party utilities sometimes. Uh, I'm very wary of those things. Okay, we'll continue on once it gets installed. Once I release the mouse. Punk, punk. As you can see, it's beginning to install now. 
Okay, it's asking me for my name, so I'm going to go Pickles. And I'll leave that computer one. Okay, now it's installing in network. Okay, it's restarting. It's just restarted. It's asking me for my visuals. Okay, yeah. Nope. Oh. I'm not going to install the XP. Uh, th these are VMware tools, which allows you to uh, experience uh, the operating system in a way that's pretty good, actually. Uh, but like I said, VMware can be a real nasty pig. I mean, I have a low-end system, so I mean, you know, I mean, what are you going to do, right? This is why I like Oracle because uh, Oracle is a lot faster. It's uh, it seems to be more primed and and better programmed as far as compatibility. Skip this step. No, not this time. And before I actually end this video, I'm going to shut this down and then restart up VMware. And to show you that, you know, you don't need to... That's all you need to do is just rename the main, you know, the main executable, which is VMware.exec. Rename it to something else. And there we go. I'm going to shut this down. Turn off. Just so I don't go around damaging it. Tick, 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 tick. There we go. Exit. Let's start VMware Pro back up. Okay, that is, so we're going to edit the settings so it doesn't boot to the, to, uh, this. Okay, bang. Now you can press F2 and choose your booting procedure. I know how you, you can access your BIOS from that. Okay, let's power the machine back on. Let's press F2 for a second. I think it's F2 for VMware. No, it isn't F2. Okay, well, maybe I wasn't fast enough. I can't remember the key for that. But anyway, as you can see, it's booting up the the, uh, the OS that I just installed. <sighs> there you have it, folks. That's how you can get around that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's done this on purpose to make people to force an upgrade. Uh, all I know is it's, it's a lie. It's just, it's an out and out lie. Anyway, folks, there you go. Take care. Oh, better go. Oh, if you're wanting to know the version of Windows I'm using, uh, well, it's 1903, but I can't uh, the updated version. But uh, I stopped I, I I stopped all updates from I think from May or something like that or. April or something like that. I can't remember, but it was a little earlier than that. I don't download uh, Windows or uh, Windows 10 updates, man, without first checking it all out. Because I, I'm sorry, but I'm not getting caught up in the way Microsoft does things. They don't care. They laid off all the people who did QA, it, you know, in their QA department, and allowing people who happen to have paid money for Windows uh, 10 to be the test subjects, you know. And... <laughs> No, nah, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Anyway, take care, folks. Have a good one.